so much. Like it reminds me, I don't know if you guys have ever puked like through your nose. It sounds so gross. When you get like something stuck, <laughs> that's so gross. Good morning, you guys. It's December 2nd, which means it's day two of Vlogmas, and I'm running late for work. I have to be clocking in in three minutes, and I'm still like just now passing the Walgreens. Um, it snowed yesterday, and I have a really cute, adorable clip that I want to insert of Ziggy. We took her outside in the snow yesterday. <laughs> Ziggy! Come here, babies. What is that? Bubby. Hey, Bubby. I don't want her out too long because I don't want her paws to freeze. Oh, is she figuring out she can eat it? <laughs> oh, Bubby. She was really funny because she just kind of ran around like she acted like she didn't really know what to do with it But like she was also really excited about it But also like it was frozen water on the ground that she could drink. It was really funny And then all day she wanted to keep going outside to play. It was really cute um, I can't wait until we have like significant snow that's like tall tall to see if like she'll jump in it or something I need to figure out how to get her to like clothes because when you put like sweaters and coats and jackets and stuff on her Like she just flopped over and like dies. So it is Wednesday. I work the next six days So vlogmas might be a lot of me just going back and forth between work, which I know is so exciting um, My makeup probably looks really funky my lashes my eyes won't stop watering and I don't know if it's because they were messed with so much yesterday. My lashes are already peeling up. Today's tie-dye day at work and I have this really cute like pastel tie-dye uh, hoodie that I'm wearing. So I thought I tried to do like the same thing with the same colors on my eyes. Not sure if it's very successful, but I also don't really care at this point. Because like I said, I have to clock in in two minutes. So I don't really have a lot going on today. I've got to swing by Ulta after work because I have two packages to pick up. One of them is for Soraya's Christmas present and another one is for me, which I really should not have been buying myself anything but I couldn't resist it and it is what it is, so whatever, right? Right. All right, I am at work and oh my gosh, there are already like 50 cars at least just in the parking lot. Come on guys. Today's a truck day, so I'm hoping it goes really fast. I'm hoping I got a lot of freight because Black Friday really wiped me out. Um, I'm short on a lot of merchandise. Oh, I need my eyes to stop watering. I can feel my lashes pulling up. And when I last looked in the mirror, like my eyeshadow was like clumping around in the middle of my eye, which looks like it's, it's doing me now. Okay, so now I have to go run inside and clock in. So I will see you guys in like eight hours. Yeah, it's like 10 o'clock now. I get off at five, so I'll see you at five. Literally today was an absolute like shit show. I can't even begin to tell you like how freaking ridiculous today was. Um, It was really stupid, like really stupid. My friend Isaiah is behind me and he is following me to Andy's house because he's learning a makeup application and I'm going to loan him some eyeshadow palettes so he doesn't have to buy one. I literally wasn't in my department at all except for at the very end Isaiah called me up to the beauty so that I could help him pick out makeup which is fun. I think he bought all e.l.f. So but yeah so he's following me back to Andy's because he's going to go through my makeup and pick out what he needs. And I guess we're just gonna go from there and see where the night takes us. I think Andy has already poured me a shot and a beer because he knows it's just been one of those days. And your girl needs to relax. I don't understand what's going on. I feel like we have a ton of employees that we hired, but like, where are they? I know that they're not all quarantined. We have several associates who are out in quarantine, but like, where are they actually? So I walked in and we had truck and I got that done. Uh, really quickly honestly it took no time at all and then from there they put me on drive ups which was insane because literally it was like boo -boo 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 and it was like okay like I have 27 cars out there for drive ups but one of the person like submitted all eight of his orders as individual orders so like that was eight of the like ding dong things that they do the Hong Kongs whatever it is and then the rest of it was like 
um, um, like single car, like single car packages. But still, like it takes forever because you have to get the item, you have to scan it out, you have to take it out to the car, but then like you get another one. So then you have to go back in, you have to get, I didn't realize that there were like two different stock rooms that we were supposed to pull from. Like it was, it was crazy. Now, now I know what I'm doing. So tomorrow if I come in and they're like, hey Sarah, we need you to help with Bopus. We need you to help with Omni. I got it. I learned how to pack. I learned how to pick. I learned how to process and I learned how to deliver. So new skills. And Andy does not work tonight, so I'm gonna see if he wants to do something fun. I know he said something about possibly karaoke. He's like ready to let loose and ready just to like party. But I work tomorrow. I have to be at work at 10 a.m., which means I have to get up by probably sometime between like 7.30 and 8. But like, your girl is tired. I'm exhausted. Today was rough. I need to see when, um, Alta closes because I have two two orders to pick up at Alta, so I may be going back out. We shall see. Okay, he's still behind me. Did I literally just miss the turn? No, I did not miss the turn. I am so stupid today. All right, I'm getting off of here. Hey friends, what's happening? Um, today is December third, and I just left work. I actually left work two days two days early. No two weeks early no two hours early what am I even saying I feel like poop I feel so bad I'm on my way to an appointment to get tested for coronavirus um, I'm a little bit nervous because I the ones that I've seen they like shove it up your nose so I'm like I'm not like super excited about that it doesn't sound very fun it sounds incredibly painful um, I've never done a COVID test I just don't feel good. I, my lungs hurt so bad and I'm having a hard time breathing. I don't think I have COVID at all. I have bad lungs is what I think I have, but technically I have symptoms. Uh, my appointment's in 10 minutes and I had to pre-register. Um, I don't know, it looks painful. I'm not at all excited. register online I had to actually like have proof not proof but I had to like actually display like certain symptoms um, I had to do like a questionnaire and answer questions about like my demographics um, and my health habits and stuff like that thankfully this test site is free because I was looking online it's like a hundred and fifty dollars to get the testing if you don't have insurance like CVS and Walgreens, I guess, is doing the testing. However, they're all completely just packed uh, for today. And I wanna, I wanna get it done as quickly as possible. Oh, I'm so tired. And that really hurt my lungs. I'm not coughing, so that makes me feel like it's not COVID. I don't have a fever. I just have a really bad headache. I'm extremely tired. I feel like it's exhausting to try and breathe. I'm sore all over. Turn left. You're back online. Back online. Good to know. So tired. I forget where they said I'm going. I'm looking for Bell Street. Yesterday was so much fun. Um, I didn't finish vlogging anymore yesterday. I am probably going to combine yesterday's uh, little bit of a vlog with this little bit of a vlog. After work, Isaiah and his uh, fiance Brandon came over and um, Isaiah, that's not it, Isaiah and Andy sang karaoke and Brandon and I played with makeup. Um, it was fun. And then we also played that new game that we got, the uh, Don't Drink and Draw, which is so much fun. It's the best. I think that I'm gonna see if we can make a video of us playing it because it literally, literally is the best. Oh, I'm hoping I'm just like having the beginnings of an upper respiratory infection. Did I miss Bell Street? I'm super confused and I'm starting to panic because. Turn right, then you will arrive at your destination. I don't want to be late. I think, I think this is it. I think this is the COVID test site. All right, I gotta go. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, that was literally the worst. There's like this big, long, um, sorry, it hurts. Uh, this big, long, um, swab. And they go, <laughs> you tilt your head, and they go all the way back, and they go all the way in, except for like that much of the, the bottom of the swab. And then they have to turn it three times, and literally, it reminded me of the time that I almost drowned and I got water up my nose. It was very uncomfortable. I hated it so much. So, and they said that I should get the results in three to five business days that it might take a little bit longer since so many people are getting tested. So now I guess I wait. Um, I'm obviously gonna limit the time that I'm around people and the people that I'm around. Um, personally, like I said, I don't feel like I have it. It's just more of a precautionary thing. But I just, I don't know. I feel like shit, like really bad. And I was in contact with somebody who did get um, a positive result back for her COVID test. Oh, I hate it. And I hate it so much. Like it reminds me, I don't know if you guys have ever puked like through your nose, but I throw up so much that my stomach acid has kind of like worn down the, the back of like my nasal passage. I don't know. So sometimes when I puke, it comes out my nose and it reminds me of like when, it sounds so gross, when you get like something stuck. <laughs> That's so gross. Like I feel like I need to go like blow my nose or something, but I don't want to because I'm afraid I'm gonna bleed. I'm afraid I'm gonna bleed. I really don't want to get sick. My sister-in-law was in the hospital. She got diagnosed with COVID on, I, I wanna say it was like March 31st is when she went into the hospital and then late she uh went into the hospital march 31st and she like basically was on life support she had multiple surgeries her lung both of her lungs collapsed i believe she had to have a trach put in she did not get out of the hospital until my daughter's birthday august 11th so she was in there from march until august 11th and then my aunt actually passed away from covid and she lived in pittsburgh and she was unhealthy already she had several strokes she was older and the nursing home that she lived in, like, I don't wanna say like got wiped out, but like it got hit bad. And it was right before, like we had just got on quarantine uh, when that happened. So like people were still trying to figure out like how do we contain this and da 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 da. I don't know. <sighs> now I'm on my way back to Andy's, which I think I'm just gonna lay down. I'm so tired. I need to sleep. And I don't understand that because I actually went to bed like early last night. So there shouldn't be any reason why I don't have energy. But I am legit like just exhausted. I would still be at work right now. I'm so glad Haley covered the last bit of my shift. I wasn't supposed to be off of work until five. Thankfully Haley got off at three and she asked management if she could just stay and work the last bit of my shift. Um, which is what she did, which I thought was weird because you said they don't let people take over beauty shifts. I had Andy bring in my Duanip. I used it uh, twice in a row. I didn't feel any better. Um, but thankfully I didn't feel any worse because sometimes like that much albuterol would make me like really super shaky and stuff. Uh, but so I used that, it didn't make me feel any better. But thankfully Haley covered for me, so I'm not gonna get in trouble and it's not gonna count against my attendance. I'm gonna go sleep and I will talk to you guys later. Good morning, friends. Um, it is now December 3rd uh, and I guess I just wanted to give an update. Um, so I ended up calling work this morning and I told them that I went and I took the COVID test. I was gonna kind of evaluate like how I felt this morning before telling them because it does take me out of work for two weeks, which is kind of a big deal seeing as like, it'll have me not going back to work until the 18th. But I decided, one, I don't want to put other people at risk. Two, like my lungs still freaking suck. I, just from going from the bedroom to the living room, I feel out of breath. And don't mind me. Yes, I'm wearing yesterday's makeup. I ended up getting home last night from taking the test. Uh, I think I laid down at like 4.30. I didn't get up until this morning at like 7.30. So 4.30 p.m. to 7.30 a.m. That's a lot of freaking sleep. And I'm still exhausted. Just talking, I can just tell that, like, if I were up on my feet and moving like I did yesterday at work, I would be out of breath. Um, so I talked to Anthony, I talked to Andy, I talked to the kids, and we just have all decided that it is probably best that I just quarantine for now, um, at least until I get 
my test results back. I think Cole said that regardless, I have to be out for 14 days. Uh, so that would start today. So that would have me going back, I believe the 18th, or I would be going back the 19th, but I won't be getting another paycheck before Christmas. Um, I am gonna file for unemployment here in just a little bit. Thankfully, this check was pretty big because it does have my Thanksgiving time on it. Um, it just is really gonna suck. It's really gonna impact the kids' this Christmas, which is fine. They're older, they understand. And like when I talked to them this morning, their big thing was like, we just, we want you to be healthy. And if quarantining, staying off your feet, because my thing is like, if I don't have COVID, there's something going on with my lungs, which if it's something like the beginnings of pneumonia, bronchitis, upper respiratory infection, or if I'm just really physically exhausted, which I am definitely physically exhausted. Um, seeing as I slept so much last night and I probably could still sleep tonight or uh, the rest of the day if I, if I let myself um but I feel like that makes me more susceptible since I am working in retail and I do come across people so much but since I I have been exposed to someone who has had a positive test and because I am showing multiple symptoms and we just decided it'd be better for me just to do this. So yeah, it's gonna suck, but that's what's happening. So I just wanted to give an update. Um, and yeah, I guess maybe I can stay more on top of Vlogmas now, I suppose. It's one small, teeny tiny, insignificant, unimportant um, positive in the midst of all of this. I don't know. But that's what's going on. That's my little update. Um, again, yeah, I look like absolute, do you see these dark circles? Like that right there is smeared mascara, but that, there, those are dark circles. I never have dark circles that bad and my eyebrows look like crap, yeah. So judge me if you want, it's fine. I don't care. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get off of here. Andy is actually going and getting me some breakfast because not only did I go to bed at 4.30, but I haven't eaten anything. He got me some coffee a little bit ago and that's all I put in my system. I've only had Diet Coke and coffee over the last 3.30, 4.30, 5.30, 6.30, 7.30. 15 hours, holy crap. So yeah, I slept like 15 hours and in the past 15 hours, all I've had is coffee this morning and I drank some Diet Coke last night before I went to bed. That's literally all that I put in my system since 4.30 last night. So, all right, um, now my brows are bad. I'm gonna go wash my face and eat whatever Andy brings back for me. I think he's getting me an impossible uh, croissant, which or whatever they're called from Burger King. And, um, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Excuse like my purse and crap on the back. It's kind of a mess, but I'll be off for two weeks. So I'll be able to clean it all back up, but I will see you guys in my next video. Happy Vlogmas.